Hello, and um, you guys are probably experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing as far as the crashing or just errors with files coming from the new GH5 inside of Adobe Premiere when using 4K different files. So let me show you exactly what happens. So I have a session open. I'm going to double click on import. See here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the files. Okay. Now, the files with no pictures are 24 frames per second. For some reason, those pictures do not show up. However, the ones I did for slow motion, 4K, 4K, 60 frames, the pictures show. So, let's go ahead and highlight, let's highlight all the ones that are 24 frames per second and watch what happens. Okay, now they've imported. See? Crash out. <laughs> crash out. It crashed out on me. So basically what you have to do to avoid this crash, um, evidently Adobe needs to get with GH5 or vice versa and they need to work the kinks out with Adobe Premiere. I don't know about Final Cut Pro, but I know about Adobe Premiere. What I had to do, let's see, there's my error. I need to send it. I've already sent it a couple times. What I had to do was transcode um, my work with Adobe Encoder. So I opened up Adobe Encoder, hit the plus sign, brought in the files, and I chose which format. Now, as you can see, I'm doing H.264 files. Um, I'm going to do those just for backups, but really I'm not going to edit with those. I really like to, I like to edit with ProRes files, but ProRes wasn't available at the time when I started doing this rendering this morning. Um, but I found out how to, how to get the ProRes inside the program. And all I had to do was simply visit this link right here. This link, which is now below this video. I got this link below the video, so you don't have to worry about finding this site. Um, once, you, once you hit that link, it's gonna download the ProRes folder right here, my bottom right hand corner. Um, there's a ProRes folder in my download, see, right there. All right, all the ProRes codecs are, presets are in there. So you'll go into uh, Adobe uh, Encoder, and you'll come down here where it says Presets, and you'll right click here, and you'll go Import Presets. Then you'll find that folder, and you'll highlight every single one of them and press Open. Once you do that, um, QuickTime will be there, and if you would like, like I can go down here to this last folder, folder. I can actually click on, let's see, uh, I can click on, uh, I'm sorry, click on the name right here, the preset right here. And I go over here and I change this to QuickTime. QuickTime. And I can choose HD, 1080p, 24 frames per second, which is right here, ProRes. Not the LT, I want the regular one. This is ProRes. Now, let's say, for instance, um, um, I wanted the frames per second to be uh, even higher than, than, than 20, 20, 24. I want to do 60 frames per second. They don't have a, 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 a preset for 60 frames for whatever the reason. So you got to create it yourself. So basically you go to the frames per second and you'll simply click on 59.94. And that's custom. That's your custom ProRes uh, template. So this is ProRes, Apple ProRes 422. And you can actually name this whatever you like. Save the preset. I'm going to call it uh, Apple ProRes. I'm gonna call it ProRes, ProRes, uh, 1080p, 60, 60 frames per second. All right. So that's how you do it, and you press OK, and now that now that's gonna save at that. But I, I don't want to save that one at that. I want to save it where I had it before, because um, I'm gonna make a whole batch of the. 264s first, then I'm gonna come back and make my pro reses. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it because I had already started and I don't want to stop it um, before I found out how to do the pro res. All right, so with that being said, that's pretty much what you need to do first. Once you uh, convert it to pro res, you can bring this into your program with ease, with ease, and, and, the, and the files will play really, really smoothly.